Hey everybody, I have a new haul for you guys today. My name is Bill. So, many of you guys know that Loft launched their new plus size line, I think Monday. So I bought a bunch of items, had them overnighted to me so I could give you guys a first review. Well, it's not really a first review. The people that are like paid by Loft have obviously reviewed this before, but I'm not being paid by anyone. I'm doing this all on my own, <laughs> as I usually do. So, this is the package we're gonna be opening. This is what it comes in. Inside the package, just to give you an idea how things are wrapped, the big package. Ooh, so strong. Trying to get it open is not as, okay, I gotta put it down. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Just everything's kind of wrapped in sturdy plastic bags. And now I'm gonna open it all up and let you know what I think. I'm excited because I have always kind of loved Loft's aesthetic. Loft's, it's hard to say that together, Loft's aesthetic. Uh, and I'm excited that they'll offer some colorful options. Cause you know, oh my God, I just burped. Cause you know I love color. Okay, let's jump right into the items at hand. Now I did try to get a mix of like everything so that I could get a good idea of the fit of the different types of things. So I got a button down shirt or at least like a, sh is it button down or is it like more, just like a non-stretch shirt. I got a t-shirt, I got a sweater, some pants, a skirt, a dress. I like, I went ham. So I could get a little bit of everything to give you guys an accurate perspective on how all the different pieces fit. Obviously it's not everything in the collection cause I'm not that rich, but someday I might be. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Now I'm gonna open it all up. <laughs> so this first item I've seen on like everybody. Denise Badeau wore it, Gabby Fresh wore it, and it's basically a bright, yellow almost chartreuse pair of pants and you know i was like hot pants a bright yellow color yes please so it is a standard tailored pant it has like a little tie front here you can do in a variety of different ways like an ob tie and the pant leg itself goes down into like a fairly normal leg it's not super fitted it's not super loose the fabric itself just as far as stretch does not have very much at all. So you need to order, for me I ordered a size up because I was like, oh this has like no stretch and I know my thunder thighs need a little extra space. So these like feel very hefty, like the fabric is nice and thick and high quality feeling. The sewing on the inside, again, super nice. I'm just gonna point out a little detail I spotted. Here we can see that there is a light, um, sewing over the actual seams itself. This is called piping, but th in this case, this piping is being used to hold the construction of the pant. The pant, I said that like a British person. These pants are amazing. The waistband itself is reinforced. You've got a fold over waist, but then there's also, it looks like some white extra fabric that's been put in there. I can just kind of see it from here. So I can't remember that, what that's called, but it's where they, fusing, it's a fusing fabric to make it more sturdy. I don't know if that's the exact word, but you get what I mean. As far as the closure, you've got these two latched closures here and then a button. So very standard with a typical dress pant. And man, I am just really impressed by the weight of these. Like these are heavy pants. They are not, they are no joke. No joking around with these pants. They also have a pocket here. And at first I didn't think they had a pocket, but I realized they sewed the pocket shut. So you could leave that sewn or you could rip it open here. Now, before I made a joke about how this is so children couldn't run around and put candy in closed pockets, but somebody educated me and that so the pocket does not stretch out when people try them on and that you're getting a fresh unstretched pant when you get them. That said, I don't think this pant is going to stretch much because of the construction and the way the fabric is. It's very hardy and non-stretchy. So these did not fit. This is a weird situation. They fit my thighs, which usually things never fit my thighs. And if it's something that doesn't fit, it's because I can't get them over my thighs. They fit my thighs, but not my hips, which means that something's weird. I don't know what body type they're designing for because usually if you're cutting a large thigh, you are cutting more for a pear or an hourglass shape. However, 
if you're cutting a smaller thigh, usually you're cutting for an apple or an hourglass can wear anything. So why do we even pretend like anything's not cut for them? So I, was, I can't figure out who these pants were cut for in that they had such large thighs, a large waist, but like virtually no hips. And when you look at the pants, this is what's crazy about it. I didn't see it when I was doing it. I'm just gonna fold them in half so you can see the line. The line is literally straight and the curve starts at the thigh. That's weird. Never seen a garment cut like this before. It is very, very bizarre. The next item I have is also bottoms. This time it's a pair, this time, it's a pair of shorts. Little kind of sailor shorts. I also got these in a 26 because I was nervous. Again, with no stretch for the thighs. These have a little bit more stretch than those other pants, but still not a lot of stretch to the pants is what I'm seeing. Again, we have the pockets. This time they are not sewn. They're right here. And you have some cute little sailor button details down the side. Three buttons just around, actually four buttons around the pocket area. As far as the closure on the pants, they are a side zip which is an interesting choice. Uh, I have a, a lot of mixed feelings about back and side zippers. I think they are left from a fashion design era when people had like handmaids and stuff to zip them up. But when you are living alone as a single woman, side zips, back zips, they just make it all a little bit more complicated to put your clothing on. So I'm not totally in love with the side zip. You have two belt pockets here in the back, again sewed shut. If you wanna open them, you can. If you got a big old butt like me, cause Sheena got a big old butt. Just call me Sheena, guys. Um, I don't tend to open these because I find with a big butt, it like stretches them open, so I tend to leave them sewn. Overall, very well constructed. Again, that waistband is very solid. It's non-stretch at all, which is kind of nice for those of us that need that, but difficult for those that might be an apple shape and wanna size down. So these shorts are actually super comfortable. I was like getting a little discouraged, but this actually fits me quite well. There's a lot of good movement in them. I don't feel, I mean, there's stretch, but not too much. They feel actually pretty good. I like them. Now, as I was going through this, I noticed that they had a little card in here. Now, what I like about this is they're offering free shipping and returns. This is really great for a plus brand that's, plus brand that's primarily online because this means you can try it if you don't like it, it's easy to send it back. There's no cost to send it back. A lot of stores do like restocking fees. It looks like they're not doing that. So that means you can kind of try them at no risk, buy them online, try them out. If they don't work, it's easy to ship it back. And their price point seems to be a little bit higher. So things like this go a long way because when you buy that piece, there's that hesitation, right? Is it worth the money? And when you have to pay a restocking fee or go through all of those hoops to return something, it's nice to know that those hoops don't exist when trying out the Loft brand. <clears throat> so clearly I'm starting with all the pants. This is just actually how I pulled them out of the bag, unintentional. So this is uh, a pair of jeans. Now I've heard some really good things about their jeans. They do have a lot of stretch to them. They look very comfortable. We've got the standard pockets in the front and back. I did get uh, 24 in these because I felt the stretch for the thigh should make it okay. Looking here, they're kind of just a standard skinny pant tapered down to the bottom. They're in a dark wash and the stretch is moderate. I wouldn't call these a super stretchy jean. They call these um, super stretchy, but in my opinion here, they're like moderately stretchy. They're not super stretchy. So if you're in between sizes, I would not necessarily go down. I might have some thigh issues with the, we'll, these. <laughs> we'll see when I try them on. I love the color. I kind of miss the fact that there's not a lot of jeans without destruction or out like shading and fading. So it's nice to just be able to find a pair of dark blue denim in like a normal cut it's nothing too fancy. I mean, for those of you that just want a basic jean, this looks pretty awesome. Again, the construction feels really solid, really strong. The fabric has some nice weight to it. Um, obviously, the jeans aren't don't have as many like sewn details as the pants do, but they feel really nice. I'll tell you how they fit once I try them on. So these jeans, I probably need to get a 26 from them, but here's the challenge. I could barely get these on. So I didn't fill them because I like literally couldn't barely move in them. But the waist was too big. So I'm sitting here going, these are just not cut for me. This clothing is just not cut for my body type. 
because if it fit me in the thigh and, and like like hip area, it would be so big in the waist, I couldn't wear them because I could probably just pull these straight up and down over my butt. Weird way to package a skirt. Like a really weird way to package a skirt. Meow. So when I saw this, I thought red. Like it probably looks red on camera, but it does have a slight pink hue to it. It's more like a scarlet. I again ordered this in the larger size because it is not stretched, so I have to worry about my thighs. It is a standard red kind of, a, um, I think it's an A-line skirt. We've got some welt pockets here in the back. And on the inside, very nicely sewn, fully lined, which I think is really nice. You don't see that often in the plus size world. So you're seeing here an acetate liner and then the fabric over top. As far as the construction, these are the same fabric as the pants. And since I didn't check on the pants like I was a bad blogger, these are a mix of polyester and rayon with a little bit of spandex. And then obviously the lining is all of that rayon, you know, acetate liner that we see so often. This, like the pants, and these are almost like the skirt version of the pants but in a different color, has this nice little obi tie in the front or just a tied belt. We're looking at the same types of closures here. Uh, this kind of hook and, I don't know if it's hook and eye, would, would I, a big hook and eye, and then a button and a zip down the front. This looks really cute. I'm excited about how this could work because I want a red skirt. I have some ideas. So <clears throat> I tried this skirt on. It did not fit me right. It would not close over my hips. It would button over my waist. <laughs> Just there wasn't enough room in the hips area to be able to wear it, which sucks. This item is a t-shirt. I just want to get an idea of like, how do the t-shirts fit? Because a good t-shirt is sometimes hard to find and plus they kind of vary between like really crappy quality to really high quality. And I just wanted to see like where on the scale loft fell. Now you're seeing here that they're not putting a tag in it. They're just doing a printed marking here on the top. I got this in a 2022. And as far as the construction, it's very lightweight and the print is sewn on versus, um, it's not sewn on, it's sewn into the pattern. So you're actually having the stripes as part of the fabric and it's 100% cotton. Very lightweight, tissue soft, probably very see-through as well. I like the construction of it, but it's definitely a spring item, not a fall because of the lightweightness of it all. Okay, so this is the t-shirt. Now, it's longer than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a lot shorter, but something is off in the way it's sewn. I can't figure out what it is. Like, the bib, I know what it is. Okay, the bib is kind of like, not right. And I thought, okay, are these seams off? No, they're in the place they should be. But this is just so wonky. So I'm actually super not a fan of the t-shirt. I'm also not a fan of this bib style bottom where it like comes up on the sides. Like I'm not a kid, I don't need an apron. It's just weird and it's not sewn correctly. It's like slightly cockeyed. I can feel it while I'm wearing the shirt and it's bugging the ever living hell out of me. Um, I would not buy a t-shirt from them based on this experience. So this item, is a boat neck sweater. I just really love the way this was sewn. So they've used here two different types of knit. You're seeing a rib knit here and then a standard classic knit down below. They're using the ribbing at the top to add like, and I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, hopefully you'll be able to see it in the try on. They're using this to kind of block out the top neckline, drawing the eyes up, which we always love. It's in a standard classic white with a kind of oversized arm that's gonna go about three quarters of the sleeve down. I just thought this was a really interesting knit. I like when I see knits that are classic, simple, modern, but have a nice little touch and that com um, contrasting type of knit within the same piece is great. We have some nice vents here on the side for those of us with a bigger butt. It's gonna allow a little bit of room there. Additionally, this is completely made of 69% cotton and acrylic. So it's, um, it's a pretty good mix. Obviously more cotton is better. It's going to be better for breathability and it just looks good. This seems much longer than the t-shirt, but still on the shorter side. So I'm excited about this piece because everybody loves like a classic kind of fit. This again, I got in a 2022. 
So I really like this. I like how the sleeves are a little bit open here at the end. It's very comfortable. Definitely a 2022 was the right size to buy. It feels really nice, but not tight. Cause a shirt like this should be like loose and more open. I actually really, really like this sweater a lot. So who doesn't love print? Mama loves print. We all know this. I love color. This seems like a fun spring, fall, like fall, not fall. Fall doesn't go into spring. Winter into spring print. I could wear it underneath a suit and then later I could wear it on its own with maybe the red skirt. This is really, really nicely sewn. What I like here is they've added a little bit of edge here. They've tapered it rather than just sewing this in. They've added a, a fold over fabric, almost like a, I don't know what you would call this. But it's the seaming, it's the edge part, it's like a little fold over. You get what I mean here, that thing, that thing, they've added that, that's nice. As far as the back, you have some nice pleating here which is gonna add some extra room. Now here's something I'm a little bit confused on and I'm not nuts about. The front of the blouse is non-stretch, it's uh, just a standard, feels like a polyester mix. I'm gonna go actually read what it is. It is. <laughs> Why can't I find you? Okay. It is 100% polyester. Now the back, also printed, appears to be the same fabric, but this is actually knit. And that bothers the hell out of me. Like, why can't I just have a full rayon shell? But instead here, they've put a knit in the back. Now I guess this is to make it more comfortable, or if your body's shaped differently, whatever it might be to fit, which is a nice thought, but to me, I'm saying I paid for a full blouse and now I have a half t-shirt, half blouse, and that feels like I got cheated, right? I want this to be rayon as well, but it's actually a knit. That just annoys me. You didn't have to do that. There's no like actual visual benefit. They're obviously trying to make it look like it's the same thing. In fact, the yoke is still in that rayon. The knit starts right about here. It just, it feels like an odd choice. And I really, I'm not behind it. I think it was a bad choice. The front is quite a, kind of interesting. You have a split collar, no buttons or anything. So this is just meant to kind of come across like that, open in the front. And then again, having a nice like mandarin collar across the top. I got this in a 22. I really have mixed feelings about this. Um, because my hips being bigger, the jersey print does allow for this to fit me pretty well but I still hate it. I still hate that there's jersey fabric back there. I'd be more inclined to buy a size up than um, have the jersey fabric in the back. So we have our last item from this haul. It is a dress. And that's because I wanted to try one from like every single thing. We got shorts, we got pants, we got jeans, we got a, what I thought was gonna be a full blouse, which is half blouse, half whatever, and now we have a dress. Immediately upon opening this dress, I'm really into it. Let me tell you why. I thought this was gonna be a flat print. Boring. No, it's actually 3D. You can see right in there. There are little kind of up bra areas here. I don't know what to call that, but they're adding dimension to this print, which I think makes it feel much more expensive than a standard print. The dress itself is all in rayon, and it has kind of a nice yellow, pink, gray tones to it. It's a very on color scheme for the season. The sleeves itself are sheer, so we're seeing that same pattern, but sheer. The dress is lined in a gray acetate, so that's what's keeping the rest of the dress from being sheer. It's got a nice little ruffle mandarin color here. Th yeah, four buttons down the front, which you can undo, but I'm gonna tell you, there's one undone here, and it is going to be a bear to close up. Yeah, this is already too hard. So I would probably never unbutton these or unbutton these and never button them again. It comes down to an elasticized waist here, but then flares out into a typical A-line dress. This is adorable. I hope this looks great on me. I hope I can wear this out. It'll look great with my yellow coat over it or even like a pink little leather jacket. It's very, very cute. This is probably one of my favorite items from this haul because I was so impressed with the fabric itself. I was not expecting to have that like dimension to the fabric. So I really wanted to love this, but the liner is really tight underneath. The dress itself, plenty of room but I'm getting some weird pulling just right across the hip region. So I just don't think their non-stretch dresses are gonna work for me. 
at all. It's quite baggy up here at the top, which is fine if this fit, but if I were to go, for example, up a size, this would just be terrible. It's already kind of bad, but it'd be like really bad. So I'm just not feeling it. So here are my final thoughts on Loft. Probably won't shop there again. Not a brand for me. Uh, reasons why. Tops were okay. Not great. Uh, I didn't like the mix of materials in the tops. And I honestly felt some of them were slightly off in production. I did really like the white sweater. That'd probably be the one thing from this entire haul that I would purchase um, again. Bottoms. The cut is whack. I don't know what's going on here. I've seen a lot of reviews, a lot of them sponsored. The cut is weird. Um, and that's a lot for me to say that because usually I'll say it's not for my shape or, but I don't know whose shape this is cut for. Because I don't know a plus size girl with tiny hips and big thighs. I just don't know who that girl is. She probably exists and she's probably like, finally it happened to me. I can buy some clothes that fit my body. But it's not me. So yeah, I did like the shorts. I would maybe buy the shorts. And it seems to me just adding a little bit of stretch, but they had to have more than stretch in that because the hip fit me really well. I don't know, I don't know. Dresses, same weird cut where they're not giving enough room for the hip. Part of me feels that they've like got a weird fit model whose hips start low. And as a result, their hip is starting like at the top of most women's thighs and butts versus like a little bit higher below the natural waist. So I don't, I don't know what it is, it's weird. So my thoughts on this are, proceed with caution. Good thing you can return the items if they don't fit. Uh, I was a little disappointed. I was really pumped on this. I was like, I'm gonna do a haul. I'm gonna love it so much. And then I'm gonna try to work with them in the future. We're gonna be best friends. I'm gonna be rocking loft clothing. And to me, it's just another brand that kind of missed the mark for their first launch. I'm pretty consistent in my sizing. I know when things will fit and when they won't. So to have so many things not fit, uh, and not fit consistently in the same way, just a little weird. It's a little weird. <laughs> so that is my first look at Loft as a collection. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, you can leave them down below. Links to everything are always down in the description. If you enjoyed watching this, click subscribe. I really appreciate that. That helps me continue to make videos like this for people like you. But I'm male. The amazing thing about this as well is many of these items are also available in straight sizes. So down in the links, you'll see both plus and straight size links to the items. So for those of you that watch my videos that are not plus size at all, I got options for you this week too. So with that guys, I will check you later. Have an amazing week. I love you all and peace.